It's the number one show in the streets. streets. Hood Rich Radio. Radio with DJ Scream. Green. 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 You know what it is, man? DJ Scream, Hood Rich Radio. I'm representing the building today, man. The voice of the Hood Rich Anthem. Good friend of mine, man. Not even just a rapper coming through, man. Walker Flock is in the building, man. Welcome back to Hood Rich Radio, brother. What's up, bro? You know I'm Hood Rich. Where, where, you, where you touching down from, man? You be all over the world. I, I feel privileged to... You know, had his uh, time New, and everything. Cause you be traveling. New shit. Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. Yeah, watch the T. Jones shut LeBron them down. He okay, made he made LeBron. the king feel like a prince. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm saying my boy dropped 36, 11 points. Yeah, 11 boys. I meant. Speaking of sports, you might as well get to it, man. How you feeling about these Falcons? Man, we just gotta win. Just gotta win. We got one more. Win. We gotta win. You think they can do it? Yeah. You know my fear? Yeah. What? They go to Houston. They see all these strip clubs. They get to hanging out and they don't be focused. No. The only other place other than Atlanta that got decent strip clubs is Houston. You got to keep it on. Yeah, my biggest fear is that the second, the second, uh, the uh, opposite side uh, that's not receiving, that's not Ronnie White side. Excuse me, catch every ball like last game. What you mean? What's that? What's that receiver that was catching all the balls against? Uh, well, Sanu or Sanu? Sanu. Sanu need to catch and you know, with the Patriots. They hitting. Right. Right. Because you know they're gonna try to lock Ronnie down. Yeah. That's all we got. Need Julio. Julio, Julio. Man, fuck. It's, it's all good. Right. We miss Roddy too. They need to give him a ring if they win. Damn, man. I feel like they just gotta give Roddy a ring. Or let man, him I miss my boy, man. Yeah, they gotta give him something, man. I feel like him and uh, Julio Gonzalez. got the cheat code, man. Gonzalez. They oh, just Gonzalez. Gotta... I know he pissed. He just quit last year. Right. I know he wish he never went nowhere. Right. Exactly. 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 What's up, though, man? You got a lot going on. You're man, an independent artist now. I applaud you for that. Yeah, man. man. Hey, you separated. Independent from on records. paperwork, shit. And it's all love. I'm sure. Nice. No, all love. Yeah. All love. I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I had that journey with them. You know yeah, what I mean, being yeah. a, a younger man, because I wouldn't. I wouldn't have known the game today if it wasn't for them. Right. If I wasn't treated the right way, I wanted to be treated. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. I guess I was just being a little spoiled. Mm-hmm. That's what I guess. How My, did y'all finally resolve the situation? Because we know you went on some social media a few times and just kind of expressed your frustration. Which you an artist, you got your music, you wanted to come out. So I don't think it was just. Lashing at them is just you want your music to come out. You're at artist. first, at first I thought it was lashing those screen go flex. So right. everybody start hit me like, man, they doing that to me. Next right. time I see uh, Wiz do it, this B O V. Yeah, like yeah. you like ah. Oh. See, but a lot of people ain't don't want to come out because them, them labels don't be understanding man how, how much a, a person life they playing with. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like people like these kids got to understand you a pawn move, man. If you think like a pawn, you could never be a king, a rook, a knight, a mm. bishop, and and they know that. You know what I'm saying? They catch they catch kids at their most vulnerable is time. Mm-hmm. And that's that dollar sign. Right. Right. So you know how it go. You gotta keep hip hop young. That's the only way they could control it. So what's life after Atlantic Records, man? What's the next play? <laughs> life after Atlantic Records, man. Mm-hmm. It's independent shout I'm just dropping, man. Now I finally wanna drop. Yeah. You know, like the last three and a half years, I ain't even wanna do music. I, I wasn't thinking about like yeah. I was just thinking about making a brand. Mm-hmm. Uh, like how can I make Waka a Nike a Walmart, a Kroger, mm-hmm. uh whatever. And I feel like I su- I succeeded doing it. I, instead of like bowing down and um paying for it, I earned it. I earned yeah. I, I earned my strikes. I earned the pop culture or the crossover fans. I earned it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just the same way as I earned the hood club. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't even understand it, like like I came out a year and a half before, before Free Future and all of them, two years. Like, right. Like they would have never gave people like us opportunities. Like I, I don't think I was here to be glorified. I was here to open the door. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So I heard so many people sounding like the like Migos, Futures, the Thugs, the the Southsides, the Metros, the Spins. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we we hear it so much, but they kept Atlanta so old. They're like mm. no disrespect to everybody else that was out at the time. Then that's like what oh eight. And I was just like, yo, we, they need to hear this. You know what I mean? We ain't just dancing now. Right, like, right. We turned. Right. So I just felt like I was the, I was the, the gatekeeper. You brought the it. energy back to the yeah. game, man. You got the clubs in Atlanta and everywhere. When, when Oh, Let's Do It dropped, you brought the energy back. Because yeah. it was just straight like trap, trap, trap rap then. You know, dope, dope, dope. But you just brought that. My money. Yeah, up, and we brought you know the mixtape vibes. I probably didn't drop by, what, 32 mixtapes my whole career. Yeah. Like we we bought the mixtapes and we 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 made people hustle. Yeah. Cause I watched Gucci just hustle, hustle, mm-hmm. hustle. I'm like, okay, that's the wave. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We're gonna show my hard we working. Mm-hmm. It worked, man. I, a lot of uh, I be seeing people here, they're like, Waka man, they don't be showing the love. I am like, bro, I ain't do this for love. Y'all should have checked my my first interviews. Right. I, I ain't want the credit. I, I want to open the door. Right. I can never die if my producers is popping. Like, right. Right. 
Waka Flocka is with us, Hood Rich Radio, number one show on the streets, DJ Screen. Now, let me ask you, bro. Um, Let's say, you know, big dog status now, man. Let's say you was putting together, like, an Atlanta or a Southern rap dream team and you the coach, man. Give us, like, three, four people that you would want on that, on, on that team. Rappers? Yeah. Like, say, for instance. Old you, and young. It can be. We're going to say young. We're going to say young. Because you're the coach, so they got to be younger than you. From Just from the South. Let's say the South. Well, no. Nah, if you, you Midwest, East, I say, where, uh, wherever. Uh, I say the Migos count for one. Okay, so the Migos would be one. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I want Logic. Logic? Wow. Okay, you caught me with that one. We'll get back to why in a second. Uh, how many people? Name like two more. Uh, this is like you're building your team now. You're going to war with everybody out there, so you got to get a little bit of the best performers, the best lyricists, the best club hit makers, everything. You feel what I'm saying? Like you're building that arsenal. You got four spots. So Migos, Logic, you got to give one female too. Oh, I'm going to give them a female. Uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one, man. <laughs> All right, so why Logic? Logic? Why oh, Logic? Man. Yeah, Logic a beast. You been in the studio with him? Nah. You haven't? Nah, he a fan. That's my little bro. Like, okay. He, he lit. That's what's up. You know, I, I got to like check Logic. out more Logic then. You know, I checked out some Logic, but Logic I can't like, like He like the J. Cole of his generation. Mm. And I say that because they always saying something clever, man. Mm -hmm. Great music. Uh, I'm talking about great body of music. Mm -hmm. when I say from uh, character to this to that, mm -hmm. they, they have it all. They don't have the publicity. Mm -hmm. But boy, you check Logic stats, mm -hmm. little bro going crazy. Mm -hmm. And he talking, he ain't talking that talk though. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like when I listen to him, I was like, hey, I felt like me when I was a kid. Right. At his age. But he 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 learned how to express it. See, most kids don't know how to express it, so we run away from it and we talk about cars, clothes, and you know what I mean? Like right. but he is hitting the problem right in the head. Yeah. I respect that. Okay. Uh Migos, they they, well, in, a, they in the club. Self explanatory. Self explanatory. So hey, is I'm there a, a walk Migos song? Nah, I didn't know Walk Amigos or We might have to put that play together. Yeah, we gotta knock that up. I like cause they for the culture. Yeah. I like them. They for the culture. Yeah. So a female, would you do like Dreezy, Dash Low for who? Like I do Dreezy. You do Dreezy? Dreezy oh, hard. Okay. Shouts to Dreezy. Dreezy fire. And you gotta put one more in there, man. Uh, one more young boy. It's too Some many. street. Some street, uh. Boy, if I could bring back the dead, I'd say Dobie. Dobie. Mm. Powerful. Boy, I want to buy Dobie, boy. Yeah, powerful. Boy. Powerful. Boy, I scream, boy. I'm listening to that Dobie, boy. Yeah. Charlie was real. He was it. Still is. He my partner in the Even trap. Even when I hear new music, like, it's like. Listening to him, like, listen to, like hang with my partner in the trap. Literally. Yeah, yeah. Like, Big shots out to Dobie. Long live Shout out to Lil' Man, man. Yep, absolutely. So. You've been doing your thing artist-wise for a while. You put out a lot of music, a lot of mixtapes, like you said, a lot of touring, a lot of traveling, man. Yeah. But the most important thing that I love is you've handled your business, man. Like you got other business endeavors. Let us know about some of them. And talk to some of these artists on the come up and let them know how important it is not to just put all your eggs in one basket. You did. You, you know, I, I was just uh, looking at my overhead. like Overhead meaning like if I get paid $10 for a show, mm -hmm. it might cost me uh, $4 to travel. Mm. That's because I'm bringing ten people. Yeah, security these, DJs, extra rooms, extras, room, yeah. You know what I mean? I'll go shopping. That's extra two dollars, six dollars. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. technically, I was supposed to make a ten dollar. Now I'm down to four. Right. But then I want to smoke or I want to do some extra mm -hmm. curriculums, and that's extra two dollars. Now so you eight find yourself dollars. breaking even on some dates. You see what I'm saying? If so, you go shopping, especially. So I, I try to find a way. Like life is, I find out life is about overhead. Mm -hmm. It ain't about how much money you make, how much, how much money in the, the overall yes. number in which you're spending overall. Mm -hmm. So when I learned that in the game, I'm like, oh, man, ain't about being famous. Because mm -hmm. my overall low, I could be as famous as I want to be. Yep. You see yep. what I'm saying? So I'm up. So I just realized I just took advantage of it. Like, And I don't mind getting cheated. I ain't mind getting fucked over. Like, excuse my language, however they want to say it. Like, mm -hmm. It was education. Mm -hmm. And the young boys made you have fun. Mm -hmm. if anybody that make it pop, have fun, man. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody drill your head like a, like a little soldier. Like, mm -hmm. have fun, man. You accomplished something. Mm -hmm. like, you should be proud of that. I, I, I think in life, like, 
we depress ourselves too much. Mm-hmm. Like we, we, we could, we could do something so good and great. And at the same time, we'd be like, man, I could have did this. I probably got, nah, you couldn't have did nothing that you already done. Mm-hmm. It happened, man. Applaud yourself, bro. Cause mm-hmm. you made it. Yeah. It's hard out here, man. Speaking of that, man, talk to everybody about how happy you are and appreciative and, you know, I know you and your woman separated for some time and now y'all back together, y'all rocking. We can see on social media, everything is gelling, man. Just talk to everybody about how happy and grateful you are and uh, man. just speak, just express it, bro. I ain't never think I would have a girlfriend in my life. <laughs> no, for just being real, though, like, I ain't never have a girl. I ain't have a girlfriend until I was 18, though. Wow. You no, know, I'm 30. So I, it was I, like, I, ten, I, my fourth girlfriend I ever had in my life. So everybody want to know, how did you know she was the one? What was the moment? When did you know she she's the one? I didn't. You didn't. She proved. She just. She. I don't know. It's a feeling. It's I don't, a feeling, I, right? It, you you could always ask for a girl that look like this, and shape like this, or talk like this, act like that. It's impossible. You can't hide feelings, bro. Like I don't care who you are, what you got. Like right. I tried. You know what I mean? I tried doing. It. I tried to stay a real, whatever they want to call you. Like yeah. But I seen like I one day I just I really had to sit back. I had I had a lot of stuff. Right. My car. I had everything. Like. That ain't amount to nothing. I ain't had no kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't all real friend, but I, right. it just, you ain't Something's got. Someone's missing. Yeah, you in the bed laying. You like, mm. <laughs> like shit. Ain't nobody with me. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Just me and my bread. Yeah, man. It's like, it's boring. Yeah. And then you, you see yourself reminiscing and you're like, dang, maybe I was wrong. Yeah. And you start catching yourself like, damn, I was wrong. Yeah. And then you, I, I just really like put like, what was the good that came out of it? Mm. A lot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just became like a role model to my uh, my daughter. It's like I feel like a superhero. I never felt like a positive role model to nobody in the world but yeah. my daughter. And when I, when, I, when she showed when when she showed me that, I'm like, dang, maybe I am a good guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I could do that. Because in my world, big. ain't no husband and wives. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It ain't no man work hard. Mm-hmm. It's it's what I say go. Mm-hmm. It's not no it's no eye to eye. It's no equal rights. Mm-hmm. It's me first, you second, you clean, you cook. You know what I mean? Like. Mm-hmm. That could be wrong, man, because through history, you start to see, like, that pattern is wrong. Mm. You see what I'm saying? That's why I never got a ring when I got married, because I feel like people's glorifying the item. Mm. You know yeah, what I mean? They was putting their love into a bubble. like, Because right. what if she lose that ring? It breaks. Mm. Do my love break and lose? You know what I'm saying? I want right. to build it off, off real love. Like, right. it's hard. You know mm. what I'm saying? And when you find somebody so real and genuine, like, why, why, why throw it away mm. for a couple of good likes on Instagram or like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I'm a man. at the end of the day we men and we, we can't we can't stop who we physically attracted to or who who we lust for at the moment mm-hmm. but as a grown up mm-hmm. you have to learn how to check that mm-hmm. you have to be like okay that's just a look that's that it's mm-hmm. not a conversation it's not reality you right. know what I mean so right you just gotta you can't let the moment take over reality that's what I learned the world wants to see Waka Flocka on cinema and movies, man. We just want we just want to see you in the movie, man. Is that in the tuck? Do you have that already up your sleeve? Is that coming? Is that something you want to do? Is that something you don't care about? No, nah, no. Nah. Well, I'm all I'm all on it. I'm actually about to sit with some movie agents. I gotta go out of town for like two weeks. As soon as I get back, I'm gonna start shooting for these movies. Okay. I got a TV show coming out on the network. I know you said you wanted to redo Cheech and Chong. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> I got some cartoons I'm working on okay. right now. Like I'm working, bro. I got a, I got this animation cartoon I'm about to put out with me and my mom and them like Oh, I'm, I'm super work. I just want to do it the right way. Like, I want to take my time. I don't want to try to make 20, 20 projects. What if I make two great ones? Mm. You know what I mean? I can sit and just live off the money. Like, right. I'm straight. Like, I don't, right. I ain't trying to be Mr. 400 million. Like, that ain't walking. Like, so you know. 400 million, if, if Samsung or some mobile company was going to cut that, what, how would you I'm handle spread it? it out. Spread it out. I'm going to spread it out on spread God. That. But my money, I can't take all this bread with me, dog. Mm. All the money I made, I got, I got like actual, Numbers to show. Ninety mm. percent of the money I made since twenty oh eight mm. to right now, bro. I spent ninety percent helping people or paying or having fun. Like I don't, I don't like when people are like, man, I gotta, I gotta spread it out when I die. Like you dead. Mm. It's over. Like you know what I'm saying. Like mm. it's cool to set your family up, but you gotta leave no room to develop and grow as a human. Like mm. I don't want to set people live straight. Hey, you, you billionaires and millionaires, mm. cause you see through history. Look at these four kids, man. They confused. Mm. Like. They have no identity. Like, I don't want my daughter living in my shadow. Like, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying? Like, I only put her in pictures. Like, mm-hmm. live your life. Like, mm-hmm. I want to help. Like, it's nothing else to do with the bread. Mm-hmm. What else you go do? You see somebody on the corner, like, yo, I'm rapping. I want to do this. You like, yo, let me show you what they doing behind the curtain. Maybe you don't want to rap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's mm-hmm. just what it is. Like, mm-hmm. 
What's your most memorable hood rich moment, man? It can be from me, Spins, Corey, anybody. What's your most memorable, maybe funniest or just craziest moment with hood rich, dude? What? <laughs> the beginning of my career. <laughs> the beginning of your career? And them DJ boost was everything, man. Oh, wow. We do remember walking. The, see, used to come, like, Don't this is how it went down. Walker would come man. with 100 people and then politely ask you to play his record. So it's like, man, bro, you screen got the realest, though. Screen. You got 100. Eats, man, the 100, dirty boy. 100, screen the realest, man. 100 they people with you. Of course, I'm going to play your record, Walker. Yeah, and we played that security. Hey, man. <laughs> people want to, hey, do too much muscling up on the, on the security and the host. We going hard. Word. Like, that's just how I was. But y'all parties just fun. Like, y'all was the wave. Y'all mm. the way. Like, mm. you ask me what's one memory, I can't remember. Every I remember weekend. the first radio interview I did with you two, and, and you was you was like, man, I don't know about all that, man. And Hell no. It went on to do millions of views. Yeah, you know what it saying? worked. Yeah. Like, you go to Scream Joint, you got the Dirty Girls, you know, you feel me? You got 18, you know, you know hosting, you got right. Hood Race DJ. Right. It's lit. Right. Damn, that's when Dorsey was young, you know what I mean? Right. When bro was coming up. Right. Like, man, that's the city. Like, I remember you took uh, Spins on the Road. And, oh, and, he, and he made his like day, his year. Man, I'm a roll walker, man. It's the crazy. Was, I, oh my god! Man, I was just talking to Spence yesterday. I'm like, yo, bro, we might start bringing you back, dog. It's an open day. Like, <laughs> I, I was talking on who kid. I was like, yo, you know, what we need to start doing. Like, I want to start rotating DJs in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who can got shows? Mm -hmm. We booking this shit. So I'm like, yo, let's just rotate random people in. Mm -hmm. Let them see another side of our music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got a taste of it, nigga. I ain't leave. Like, mm -hmm. Hey, let me leave. Yeah. I try to run. Yeah. I got on that side, I got quit. I really quit like rap. I'm like, y'all, I'm done. Yeah. Next thing you know, some little college uh frat white kids booked me. Right. Hey dude, we got this amount of money. I'm like, okay, we on the way. I went <laughs> dolo. Right. Right. You know what I mean? I'm picking up I'm picking up a bag by myself. I'm like, hey, yeah. this is sweet. Yeah. And I learned EDM and voila. Yeah, absolutely, man. Finally, man, make a prediction for 2017. It could be a good one and a bad one, man. You know, just put your uh, your cap on and think about something positive you think that's going to happen this year and maybe something not so good that might happen this year. 2017. We're going to get free health care, man. We're going to get free health care? That's why they're killing Obamacare. They're killing Obamacare? So you think yeah, Trump going to do that for us? I, don't, I can't blame Trump. What people need to realize, Trump can't change laws in states. Gotcha. We got we to gotta take that up to our government in mm. our state. Mm. So if people want laws changing their state, they got to stop saying Trump. Mm. They got to go to the officials and the elected people around their state. They mm. locals. I agree. Then it goes to Trump. Like yeah. I, People giving that man too much credit. Shout out like, right. he's not that guy. You forgot to speak at the house, got more power than the president. Like, mm. what's going on? Mm. But people ain't thinking that logical. Like, they just look at a headline. So Obviously, you don't care for him too much because you wipe, wipe your butt with it. Nah, you know what I don't, you know. know what, you know me do that with the Trump jersey? It wasn't because of Donald Trump as a whole, because if we sit here and think, how many rappers done drop punchlines on Donald Trump getting money like Trump, mm -hmm. idolizing Donald Trump? Mm -hmm. But now this man, he, uh, run for president, he's a, he's a, he's a, even. You know what I'm saying? Word. But only thing against Trump, like, ain't even against him. It's just like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you tell somebody you're building a wall on a Mexican community that, that built Half of America with, with the with the, the slaves that came here right. years ago. Like, right. how you think they make people feel like of color? You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't go by color because my ancestors ain't Crayola crayon. So gotcha. can't nobody tell me I'm a color. Mm. But why would you make a person feel like that if this is your country and your president? Mm. That's the only question. But what's something bad you think might happen this year? Something bad. Something bad. Something that everybody should look out for. Like, man, so this <laughs> might happen. That's yeah, because the news go tell the truth. Right. That's what's going. That's that's the bad. That's the bad. They gonna yeah, they probably truth. doing propaganda because they hiding something real bad. Oh man, it's bad, man. I, I got, I got. You know, you could buy, you could, you could upgrade your cable station to get like the world's news mm -hmm. and see what's really going on mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. Like folks is getting getting sink by over there. What you think like, about churches? This? Like folks is blowing up churches and schools with kids in there. What you think about locally, just right here in Atlanta? Like crime is up. Um, you know, neighborhood. No, I don't want. I don't want to be scruff from gruff. And I don't want to put on a brown coat and tell you, hey, fight crime. Right. But that's something we pay in tax dollars. Mm. I think that uh, our government and these people put too much on celebrities. Like, mm. yo, y'all promote this. Like, nah, you got to do your job. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You know how to stop stuff here. It's easy. Mm. How, 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 can, how can I go to a hood, right, and stop stop people from uh, shooting, fighting, doing right. whatever? Well, you don't even but know a what cop can't do it. Right. And right. you legally got a pistol. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm. I, I can't understand that. You know what I mean? I, like they say, Chicago got 
uh, 200 something murders like it's only black people killing. It's not. Mm-hmm. People just, they just look at black people like black people are the only people out there that kill. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like the highest race that killed people in America last year was not black. Mm-hmm. People gotta wake up and pay attention. But locally in Atlanta, man, just, these kids need role models, dog. Mm. They need role models, dog. And it, it's the parents. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, folks need to be parents out here, man. Like, right. To see somebody, mom on Instagram twerking or bent over, like, that's crazy, bro. Mm. On Facebook, like, to see parents, like, beating their kids on camera, on social media, like, to do that to your kid pride is crazy. Like, mm. you should know how to discipline your kid without a camera. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like the law on, like, child abuse is too high. Like, yo, you need to let these parents whoop these kids' ass, man. You dig what I'm saying? Like, That's kids need their ass whooped, man. That's a point. Like, that law need to come down. Like, mm. child abuse. Now, I ain't telling you to punch your kid and whoop right, out. Right, but right, right, right. I think it should be a law where a parent could grab a belt and whoop their kid ass. Nobody should know how to discipline their point kid. Point blank, period. Other than its parent. I don't think you should embarrass a kid. Right. Now, everybody know how I feel to be embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Embarrassment comes with being bullied. Mm-hmm. But psh, they need to start letting parents whoop these kids' ass, man. Okay. You know what I mean? When I was coming up. Hey man, my literally man, uh, what's her name? Sister Green or Sister Clark whooped my ass. Wow. Like beat me, bro, and call my grandma. Wow. I look at this old lady, I'll kill you, beat me. My grandmother, like, my grandma would beat me. Like, they don't do that now. These yeah. kids talking back. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Salute Walker, man. We appreciate you coming through here. It's ready to let everybody know what's coming up next, man. You got some business adventures. I mean business ventures. Uh, um, I know you're about to drop some products. I know yeah. there's always touring nonstop. Talk to us. Um, I think I'm gonna start going a little more public on the stuff I do. Okay. Mm, and the stuff I already did. I did some some real interesting things that people use today. Okay. That I never like put out because it's in contract. So I tell you, the stuff I do in, in the future, I'm gonna start enlightening people on it. Mm. I want Atlanta, Atlanta to focus more on tech too. Okay. We got a tech building in Atlanta. I like to see more celebrities in there. Okay. You know what I mean? Getting more in tune, like showing these kids you ain't gotta be a rapper or a sports player or actor. Mm. Like yo, you could invent something that could take it your whole family. Mm. That one thing you could—it's an idea. You don't have to make it come to life. If you own that idea, hey, Apple might call me. Hey, you want to buy an idea for eighty million? Mm. Voila! Think big. Think big. Man. Think big. Shouts to Walker Flocker, man. You know what it is, Hood Rich Radio DJ Screen. Yep. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station.